Alarming security pictures have been released showing commuters dicing with death on our rail network and roads. In many cases, only luck prevented serious injury or worse. Brendan Donoghue has the exclusive details. A young woman in her own world walks off the platform and crashes onto the tracks at Parliament Station. Nearby commuters jump to her rescue, pulling her off the tracks and warning an incoming train to pull up. Here's another angle. A few seconds later, and the train would have been too close to contemplate. Here a young man dices with death walking straight in front of the Nicholson Street tram just north of Parliament. He's bowled over, but it's his lucky day, holding up his hands, appearing to apologise to the tram driver. And a commuter who doesn't touch on wipes out, face planting after jumping the barrier at Caulfield Station. We do ask people to you know, be aware of your surroundings, uh, don't get distracted with your mobile phone and keep an eye out for what you're doing. Seven News has obtained vision of these potentially deadly near misses, a catalogue of carelessness and stupidity, where it's just sheer luck no one was severely injured or killed. At Gowrie Station, a couple with a pusher inexplicably start running, but the pusher careers sideways, almost smashing into the train, the shock driver jumping out to remonstrate. At Richmond Station, two young men risk their lives running across the tracks to catch a train. And then there's the drivers oblivious to trams. A Toyota Kluger takes on this tram in Nicholson Street and comes off second best. And again in Nicholson Street, an unthinking Toyota Tarago driver cuts into the path of the tram. Where there are accidents, it also causes great distress and trauma for, for train drivers and other staff. The release of the vision coincides with National Rail Safety Week, which starts on Monday around the country. The theme is it's your responsibility when it comes to staying safe around trams and trains and that it's safer to touch on. Brendan Donoghue, 7 News.